All right, so if you guys are new to the Blackmagic design workflow and with MIDI, if you guys watch these two side-by-sides here on the left-hand side, you'll see the ATEM software, which is here. You see they've already gotten to the MIDI player section or it clicked on HyperDeck here. So it opened up and you can see on this side, compared to the side for the MIDI, that we have those three files here, the GoPro, BBC Media, and the Bars NTC. You can see as I click these through, you can see it also changing on the other side. And as I click, let's say two here, BBC Media, and I click on play here, you can see that I'm triggering media from the Blackmagic design, which is really cool functionality. If you guys didn't know about that, now you do. Okay, so you're in MIDI now and trying to figure out how do I turn on the HyperDeck emulator for the Blackmagic. And real quick, you just go to the top here, click on MIDI, and click on Preferences. And when Preferences come up, you'll see that you first start on Playlist. Go ahead and scroll all the way down to Integrations here, and you can see this happening here. Now, a couple quick notes here. You can see at the bottom here, the computer ID is 192.168.0.110. And you can see up here that the studio is 192.168.0.10. So before you go too far, make sure your IP address are connected and talking. And then click on this and go ahead and click on ATEM Television Studio Pro. 4K, which you'll click here. If you're using an A10 Mini though, you might want to go through the USB route since you don't have an IP address you can use. Go ahead and click on USB for your A10 Minis. But since I have a 4K studio, this pop-up here. I clicked on this. And then you want to make sure finally right down here, that the HyperDeck emulator is blue, which means it's enabled. And you can send it out that way. All right, so you set up your MIDI controller and you've enabled the Blackmagic HyperDeck simulator. And essentially what you're going to do now is on the bottom left corner here, you're going to see that little cog wheel and you're going to just click on that and take you to the settings page. And in the setting page, you're going to scroll over to the HyperDeck side. And again, you can see I already put this in here, 192.168.0.110. I hit connect. You can have what it done down here, would have activated it, hit connect. You wanna click save here, and then on this side, you just wanna open up that HyperDeck link as you guys saw a little bit earlier. You should see this here. And then if you click on the bottom here, you can get all the clips you had. So again, you guys have already seen this and we'll put this up again with time for you to see. GoPro here, I click on that and play. You can see that, that plays out. Audio and video is playing going through my system on the program side. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys get it. Any questions, put them in the comments below.